Hello, welcome to another informative video on the S33 Electrical Channel. My name is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about three-way and four-way switches. My hope is by the end of this video, you will fully understand what a three-way and a four-way switch is and, and how they work. So without wasting any more time, we'll just we'll get right to it, and we'll start with the three-way. So when we talk about three-way switches, we're talking about switches that allow you to control a single group of lights from different locations. So there's going to be a minimum of two, and when you have a three-way, you have what's called a hot side and a switch leg side. Four-ways are the switches that are in the middle. You can have as many four-way switches as you'd like. You could have a three-way, a four-way, a four-way, and then a three-way, or you could have ten four-ways if that's what you wanted, but you'll always have two three-ways in any system where you're controlling lights from multiple locations. So your hot side is known as the hot side because that's the side where the incoming power comes in. And I have 120 volts here and we're just going to bring it down to this point right here. On your three-way switch, this is going to be your black screw. It's usually on the left, bottom left-hand corner. It's known as your common. And that's going to be your black screw. Your common will be black. The other two screws are usually gold. These are going to be your traveler screws. If you're working in a residential setting, your 120 volts coming in will be a 12-2 Romex. If you're working in commercial, it'll be a number 12 THHN in a raceway, usually. 90% of the time, maybe 95% of the time, that's, uh, that is correct, number 12 wire. And that's basically it. You have your power coming in. Of course, you have your grounds and your neutrals. So we're going to leave that out. Anyone who's going to be dealing with this in uh, in the field, you'll understand the grounds and neutrals. We're just going to leave it out of the video for now. We're just talking about the the um, the voltage wiring for simplicity. And we're at the hot side. We have our power coming in. Like I said, uh, it's, if it's a residential setting that'd be Romex and your hot wire is going to land to that common. Your travelers in a residential setting it'll usually be a 12-3 going from switch box to the other switch box location. If you're in a commercial setting it could just be a usually a red and black number 12 traveler. And what I like to do is I like to put the black on the side as the common because it's um, it just looks better to me that way, that's just how I do it. And we're going to go right here. Like I said, you're going to have two conductors going from your hot side to your four-way location. And one way to wire a four-way switch where it's foolproof, it'll never be a problem, it'll work every time. You have your incoming travelers, your two conductors. If you put them on one side of the switch, where here we're putting it on the left side and the travelers that are outgoing let's just say 12-3, pretend we're doing it in a residential and you take your outgoing travelers and you put it on the right side and you crisscross your colors to where you put you have your red on the bottom left hand corner on your incoming, on your outgoing you put it on your right top hand corner and vice versa for the black if you wire your four-way switch this way, it'll work every time. You won't have any problems. I think I was pretty clear. So the incoming, you put on one side, and the outgoing, you put on the other, and you crisscross the colors. And um, yeah, so we have our incoming, outgoing. Now we're at the three-way, which is the switch leg side. We call it the switch leg side because that's the side of the three-way that's going to go to the light, like that. And what you end up with is the mechanics of it is something like this. I'm going to do my best to explain this. It is a little bit complicated. So this is your incoming power. It's going to go, it's going to send voltage to one of these legs depending on if this is in the up or down position. When you have your three-ways and four-way switches, 
You don't have an on and off like a normal switch. You have an up and a down. Your four-way switch looks like this. And then back to the three-way switch like side. It's like that. Okay. That's basically what it looks like. From here it gets comp more complex and explaining. Depending on the up or down position, the switch will send voltage either going from this point to this point or from this point to this point. And how that correlates with your other switches will determine if the lights are off or on. And that can be a lot to wrap your head around, right? So if this is in the up position, continuity is going this way. If it's down, it's going this way. And depending on what's going on down the line here, both of these, this could be open and this could be open, which means the lights are off. And then when you turn it on here, it's bringing power back this way. Or it could be the other way. It's complicated. But that's basically the mechanics. If you watch this video again and you give it enough thought, it'll, it'll start to make more sense to you. Um, but basically we're talking about opening and closing circuits. And when these lights are off, at some point on this series of switches, both circuits are going to be open. And when it comes on, at least one of them will be closed to complete the circuit. And that's how it works. It's as simple as that. And um, maybe some of you out there are have never, this is all new information and you've learned a lot. At the very least, I think a lot, a lot of people can learn from the four-way situation. That's a good tip to always having your four-ways work. I've been on troubleshooting or I go behind people and uh, I fix four-way switches real quick. It's just as simple as that. Taking your incoming, putting it on one side, your outgoing on the other, crisscrossing it, and that sucker's going to work. So I think that's all I need to say or have to say about the three-way and the four-way switch. Uh, I don't really know. I think that they call them a three-way. If you, you know, this is a three-way. It has three points. Four-way has four points. And uh, I hope that hope that you were able to get something from that. I hope that um, there's some value there for you. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment session. And until the next video, y'all be safe, be cool, and I'll see you on the next one.